In this lesson, we'll talk about finding the equation of the tangent to the curve using differentiation. We'll be using notions that we've learned in lesson 1. Differentiation and the derivative. And first of all, we'll be going back to what the derivative is. f dashed of x0 is equal to f of x minus f of x0 over x minus x0 where x tends towards x0. If you've missed this and don't understand where it comes from, please go back to the previous lesson. Also what we need to know is that f of x is y and f of x0 gives us a y0. We could then replace this in our formula y minus y0 over x minus x0 is equal to f dashed of x0. And then, using the ratio method, this leads us to, so then, we have that f dashed of x0 times x minus x0 is equal to y minus y0. Remember that the derivative acts as the gradient. So then this is the equation of the tangent to the curve. But let's see how this works. We'll take the case of a function f of x which is equal to x cubed plus 2x. And for this, we'll want not only the gradient of the tangent to the curve in the point where x0 is equal to, let's say, 2, but we'll also want the equation of the tangent. And we'll use the second form of the same definition for the derivative that we've learned in the previous lesson, which told us that the derivative f dashed of x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x over h when h tends to 0. So then let's see what we get. f of x plus h means we substitute x with x plus h in the expression of the function. So then we would get x plus h to the power of 3 plus 2 times x plus h minus f of x, which means minus x cubed plus 2x over h. This will be equal to x plus h to the power of 3 will be x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed. Then we have the following brackets that we are expanding plus 2x plus 2h and we don't seem to have enough room so we'll put this here minus x cubed minus 2x over h. x cubed minus x cubed is 0 and 2x minus 2x is 0. So this is equal to 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed plus 2h over h. We can do the division by h, h by h1, h squared by h will be h, h cubed by h will be h squared, and h by h is 1. So this gives us 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared plus 2. This is the part where we remember that, x, that h tends to 0. So if we replace h with 0, 
3xh will be 0 and 8 squared will be 0. So then the derivative f dashed of x will be equal to 3x squared plus 2. Now that we have our derivative f dashed of x is equal to 3x squared plus 2, we can replace x with the value that we want, with x0 which is 2. So then we'll do f dashed of 2 will be equal to 3 times 2 squared, that's 4, 12, plus 2 is equal to 14. So we know the gradient of the tangent to the curve in the point where x equals 2. But what we want is the equation of the tangent, not just the gradient. So we replace this in the formula for the equation of the tangent. f dashed of x0 is f dashed of 2 because x0 is 2. So we replace it with 14 times x minus x0 is 2 is equal to y minus y0. Now y we get when we do f of x and y0 we get when we do f of x0. y stands because it's valid for any x and y0 we will have to do f of x0. f of x0 is f of 2 and we replace in the function f which is here x with 2. We will then get 2 to the power of 3 which is 8 plus 2 times 2 4 8 plus 4 which is 12. So then we can replace in our formula. 14 times x minus 2 is equal to y minus 12. This leads us to 14x minus 28 is equal to y minus 12. Take 12 to the left so plus 12 is equal to y. So then the equation of the tangent will be y is equal to minus 28 plus 12 is minus 16. So 14x minus 16. And this is the equation of the tangent to the curve. The gradient of the tangent to the curve, of course, is 14, which is the derivative in the point where x equals 2. And in the next lesson, we'll not only find the equation of the tangent to the curve, we'll also find the equation of the normal to the curve.